What's up, GMS? I'm Elijah Martin. And I'm Gavin Arnold. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of April 26th. We have a new payment system this year to put money on your child's lunch account or to pay book rental. Go to www.easyschoolpay.com to set up your account. Six and seventh grade girls who are interested in cheerleading next year tryouts are this week on Thursday, April 29th and Friday, April 30th. I learned testing continues this week. Students, make sure you have your earbuds and your computer charged. Now for the interview, a GMS News Special, and a GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Maya Lindsay Luther, and here with 8th grade math teacher, Mrs. Camp. How are you doing today? I am doing great, thank you. It's cold. It's snow. It's very cold. <laughs> very cold. Um, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm obviously Mrs. Camp, and I have been a GMS teacher for 22 years now. Um, when I start, first came to Greenwood, I actually was a student teacher at Greenwood High School, and then I was a student teacher at Greenwood Middle School. And after um, I finished my student teaching, they hired me on as a seventh grade math teacher. So I taught at Greenwood Middle School for my first five years as a seventh grade teacher. And then for the last 17, I have been teaching eighth grade. And obviously, um, that is where I met Mr. Camp, was at the middle school as well. Oh, <laughs> obviously had a long journey through teaching. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, what made you want to become an eighth grade math teacher? So originally when I was in school, um, I, I uh, went to Ball State and they have an awesome program for teachers because right away your freshman year, um, they get you into their uh, lab school, which is a real school. And they're just used to having college kids come over and work with them. And um, since I want, thought I wanted to be elementary, they placed me with a first grade class. And although the first graders were very sweet, um, I realized I am not a little kid person. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's understandable. I definitely like, I definitely like, I was like, oh, I'm not so sure. They, they're very, they want to touch you and hug you all the time. And <laughs> that just kind of wasn't me, even though they were sweet. I was a little bit more serious. Yeah. Um, so I had always been, um, Math was one of my favorite subjects in school, and I had always been pretty good at math. And so I knew I wanted to teach. I had wanted to be a teacher my entire life from like, from like, I don't know, when I was like five years old on, I used to make my little brother sit and teach them like during the summer. So I like, it was in my blood from the day I was born. <laughs> And um, so I still wanted to be a teacher. And since I liked math, I went ahead and switched majors. And then I thought I wanted to teach high school. Uh, but then when I student taught high school, although I love high school math, I really enjoyed middle school because I, I uh, student taught eighth graders. And I just thought that they were kind of fun and quirky and things like that. So I definitely was like, well, I think middle school might be my style. So mm -hmm. that's how we ended up in eighth grade or middle school math, actually. So, but I do enjoy high school math. Um, it's just, I like middle school kids. Mm -hmm. um, are you a cat or a dog person and why? Oh, like a million percent a dog person. And I can actually, if I kind of move my camera around here, I don't know if you can see. Are you going to see a dog? Oh, yeah. There's my little doggy. Can you say hi, Dexter? <laughs> so, yes, uh, we, Mr. Camp and I had a yellow lab uh, that we got when we first got married, and he was the best dog in the world. Um, and then he, he lived for quite a while. He was about 14 years old before he passed away. And then last year, right when the pandemic hit, um, we were like, oh, let's get a dog right before. <laughs> And um, our son Kate had always wanted one, so we went and we um, we got a Labradoodle. So, oh. uh, yeah, he's a he's a feisty little guy. <laughs> yeah. So dogs. Dogs. I'm a cat person, but I'll, I'll let are you slide. a cat? Now, do you have like a, a playful cat, or do you have the kind of cats that like only come out when no one is home? I have both. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But the one that never comes out, he only likes me. He will bite anybody else that touches him. I don't okay. know why. <laughs> um, well, if a cat, if they love you, then it's okay. <laughs> yeah. um, what is your favorite place to visit? 
my favorite place to visit. Well, um, I definitely love to travel. And I, I mean, I'm very torn because I love the ocean. I love the warm. I love the ocean. But um, Mr. Camp and I, most of our vacations have actually been out west to the mountains, which I also love. Um, so I would have to say I really enjoy, we've been to Montana and Colorado and Utah. So I definitely have enjoyed um, being out west. And then I would say my other favorite place to be is probably on my couch watching TV. <laughs> yeah, that's a valid place to want to go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like working with your husband every day? So a lot of people always like kind of cringe, especially adults when they're like, know that we work together every day. And I mean, I have to say that, I mean, we've been together. I mean, if you count student teaching, this is our 23rd year of being together, like on the same building and the same, you know, hallway and everything. And I love it. So I mean, when you think about it, like usually when you marry somebody, they're, they're your best friend. And when you have a best friend, the reason they're your best friend is because you have things in common. You can help each other through um, when you have issues, good times, bad times, and things like that. And the great thing about being with Mr. Camp is that he absolutely understands my job. So when I have a bad day and I just need to vent, he can completely understand. And then when we have good things happen, when we celebrate, we can understand because we share the same students even being on the same team together. So mm -hmm. um, I, I love it. And I would be I would be so sad, I think, if we didn't work together because it's just, it's kind of the normal for us. So I love it. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, thank you for coming to the notion. <laughs> thank you for coming to the show today, Mrs. Camp. No problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. well, have English. a great day. Oh, you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Brooke Hunter. On Monday, April 26th, Boys Golf will be at Clark Pleasant Middle School at 4 p.m and they will have track and field home at 5 p.m. Tuesday, April 27th, girls tennis will be at Clark Pleasant Middle School at 5 p.m. Wednesday, April 28th, boys golf will be at Plainfield at 5 p.m. They will have track and field at home at 5 p.m. and girls tennis at Perry Meridian at 5.15 p.m. Thursday, April 29th, 2021, girls tennis at Center Grove, 5.30. That was GMS Sports. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Tiffany. And I'm Gabriella. And we're going to be playing the Phantom. The Phantom.